your true lifestyle. Great day everyone in your lagad. Lailani Salam Alba. Nagahinyo naman sa inyo tanan. Walay sapayan sang atong sini nga krisis nga ginapangatubang. Padayon kita nga mag-entertain sa tagsa natin nga lawas kung paano natin i-cope nga pandemi. Diba, Ms. Token? Yes, uh, good day everyone. Tuod yun na yan. Kanya-kanyang diskarte, kanya-kanyang pangita paagi, how to be happy, how to relax para hindi kita tanan mas stress out. Hindi manigan, no? Grabe ang impact sa pandemic sa tagsa-tagsa sa atong. Super. Sin o lang ba lang pamangkuto na itong hindi apektado? Mm -hmm. But it's how we cope with it. Diba, Ms. Token? Sa attitude na ito, eh. Yes. Kina ba lang... Kita as uh, mga hindi bala well known ang mga Pinoy mm -hmm. nga ka-resilient sa yes, aton. Yes. The zone inang maski kita mo ha, mga gabaha na gaano nagayuhong pagyapon. Yes. So amo nang isa ka positive attitude sa isa ka uh, Filipino. That's why mag-focus ang aton na topiko sa buong uh, episode sa TLS kung paano makakop ang tagsa-tagsa sa aton sa sining na pandemic. Yes. Join us diri lamang sa TLS Plus. sa lawigo na sa karon almost more than a year wala gid nato na tigayon na nakamusta ang probinsya sa Negros Occidental about its campaign sa sining aton problema sa pandemic ng COVID and Mr. Ken we're so glad ka to have, to have our, our the father of Negros Occidental Governor Bong Lacson boka budlay ni sa iya dakpon Miss Laika Sako sako ulit sa iya katama yes. tungod sa COVID campaign. Yes, that's why no. Uh, tungod sa iya kasakoon, subo lang kita natatagan sa kayanan no. to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. With him, yes. Kag damo gi kamo sang mahibal-an from him. So, update kami sa panibago naman na episode sa TLS Plus. Pinakapig nato ang isa sa probinsya na naigot man sa pandemic ng COVID. And uh, we know for a fact that our governor, the father of Negros Occidental, masyado kasako kung paano niya mapatigayon ang yasin ng kampanya bago sinin ng COVID. We're very glad to have with us today sa kasakulog niya na talagitita sa oportunidad na maging bisita sa buong haga ang amay sa probinsya sa Negros Occidental, Governor Bong Lacson. Uh, may may aga, May aga yes. for you. I, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I'd like to first greet everyone. A, a pleasant uh, good morning. Yes. So, uh, katangan sa atin ng mga um, nag-wensi, mga kaysa ka doon, nag-upamangkot. So far, kumusta ang kampanya natin bagot sa COVID? Well, it's from day one up to now, it's uh, very challenging, no? Especially when... Uh, uh, we continue to have uh, new active cases. So uh, the province is uh, doing its best, uh, of course, together with the help of uh, DOH, uh, also with the officers of the uh, IATF. Uh, so far, we're managing, and uh, we're just, uh, I think the key really is the cooperation of every individual. Uh, we all know about the minimum health standards, face mask, face shield, distancing, proper hygiene. And right now, more important is uh, vaccination. So I, I do hope now when you're given a schedule for your vaccine, please do not refuse, take it, and do not choose what brand, yeah. because all vaccines are good. Okay, all right. Bob, uh, ano ang mga siyudad, kabanwakanan, ang greatly affected gig so far, and what has been done to... Um, well, well, there's really no part, one particular uh, LGU, no? Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, San Carlos, there are times it's uh, Himamaylan or Talisa or Silay. So there's really no uh, particular uh, uh, LGU, no? Uh, that uh, is showing uh, 
uh, many uh, active cases. So again, uh, the LGUs also play a very important role. No, uh, it's the LGUs through their local chief executives that uh, provide, especially quarantine facilities, and uh, also guidance, no, and control of their uh, respective uh, constituents. Gov, anong mga priorities ta subong sa pakipagbato ta sa COVID-19? Right now, it's really vaccine, no? Okay. Uh, we, we are, we, of course, we are dependent on the national government who uh -oh. committed to uh, uh, provide the vaccines for every Filipino, no? Uh, okay. So, right now, well, you know, the focus is NCR Plus. Uh, we're hoping that, uh, you know, the uh, priorities will somehow also shift to the provinces. Uh, I, I personally feel that uh, we should all heal together. Yeah. Uh, we cannot be left behind mm -hmm. and, and heal later. Yes. No? So yes. uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, there will be a shift no, in uh, priorities. Uh, let's give equal distribution for all uh, uh, regions. Damang na pagkit ang mga difficulties sa GOV na ginaatubang subong ni mo bilang gobernador, bilang the father of Negros Occidental. Uh, well, the ability to fund all necessary, yeah. necessary uh, budget no, to yes. combat uh, uh, COVID. Yeah. Um, but you know, so, there's also something good that uh, we discovered because of COVID. Okay. And this is uh, using uh, the platform of Zoom no, for meetings. Yes. We don't have to go anymore travel yes. and have face-to-face -face meeting. Yeah. And uh, I for one noticed that in a Zoom meeting, all participants are very attentive. Uh. Uh, because they're, they're trying to listen to uh, yes. what is uh, being said. Mm -hmm. So that is, I think, one, one, uh, one good thing. new normal yeah. that is here to stay, no? Uh, Zoom meetings. Okay, Gov, sa nasiling mo na do medyo kadamaan sa ato nga mga pumuluyo, hindi pagid bala uh, aprobado nga magpa-vaccinate. Ako nakapavaccinate na ako. Uh, how important it is for us to be vaccinated? Well, our experts are telling us, no? Uh, that vaccination could be the solution. Not necessarily that it will protect us uh, uh, indefinitely, but at least, no, at least it will, uh, uh, in cases that we get hit by COVID, it will be mild, okay? So, you know, I'm really calling on everyone. Uh, I, I did it myself. In fact, I finished my second dose yesterday. Uh, and so I hope that, uh, you know, this will convince the Negrenses yeah. that it is safe uh, to have a vaccine. Your message to the people of Negros. Uh, again, no, um, thank you very much. First, I'd like to thank uh, ANP, Association of Negros Producers, yes. on their 35th Negros uh, Trade Fair. Uh, as I said in my speech earlier, uh, on the part of the local uh, government unit or in this part of the province, all we did was uh, uh, provide a lot and provide the, uh, the building, no? but everything else, it's really the ANP who does the work. No? And because of that, uh, Negros Occidental is always uh, uh, part no, of uh, the expectation of the Filipino people all over the country through our uh, Negros Trade Fair. And uh, again, manawagan uh, ko sa mga Negrosanon, kung may schedule na kamo para bakuna, palihog lag, hindi na kamo magbakuna. Batono niyo lang na because it is for our own good. Yes. Thank you so much. Mga kabiyanan ang amay sa pubinsya sa Negros Occidental, Governor Bolax. Gov, thank you so much thank for you. this opportunity that you have given us. Thank, thank you. you and thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Remember the name Paradiso Your place to
Maayong adlaw, ako si Judy Tornada, Santalisay, Negros Occidental. Unsi anyos na ako nga nangin breast cancer survivor. Kag nangin kabahin ako sa Kadughan Foundation. Nagapasalamat ko sa Kadughan Foundation, sa staff, sa mga doctors, kag ilabiragid sa mga sponsors. Kay paagi sa inyo, hindi nga bulig, kung nga ang nagapabilin nga mabakod ang Kadughan Foundation, ang inyo gugma, ang inyo pagkabalaka, Amun gid na batyagan. Salamat, salamat. Ang Diyos mo pakamaayo gid sa inyo tanan. Ang akong dako mo pagpasalamat sa ginoo na sa gihapon inataga niya ako sa kabuhi bilang isa ka breast cancer survivor sa sulod sa unsi anyos. Kagpaagi sa dako nga bulig sa Kadughan Foundation upod na ang madamo pa nga breast cancer patient at survivor na ila na buligan. Madamo gid nga salamat Tagkabay na ang Kadughan Foundation magapadayon Paagi sa bulig, kagrasya sang aton ginoo. Maraming nga pasalamat ako sa mga ginoo. Sa mga members ng Kadughan, Bakulot Kadughan Foundation. Tagkabay ng Diyos, ng cancer survivor. Sa ilang bulig, magamit nga salamat. Kadughan Foundation, God bless. Today's topic is a very important one. We will be discussing about Bacolod Kadughan Foundation for Breast Care. And in line with this, we invited a notable person, a very respected doctor in our society. Our palanga, the one and only, Doctora Carmencita Sarosa. Hello, Doc. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Man. Good morning. Good morning, Doc. I'm fine. Hi, Lailani. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes to us, Doctora. Doctora, can you tell us about uh, Kadugan Foundation? Uh, Kadugan Foundation, uh, well, actually, officially, it's Bacolod Kadugan Foundation for Breast Care. And this was actually established because at one time, there were no funds that we have for uh, uh, women with breast cancer, especially the marginalized part of society. And uh, the surgeons at that time at Corazon Loxin were scratching their heads because we needed more funds for their treatment. So that was how it started. Okay. So, Doc, uh, I know that breast cancer is one of the leading um, kind of cancer sa society kasubong. Just to give our audience a view of the real scenario na or the situation, how alarming is the situation in terms of breast cancer? Uh, it is really uh, one of the leading causes of mortality and morbidity, especially in women. Although an occasional male can have breast cancer also, but it really just usually affects the women. Doctora, when did this Bacolod Kadugan Foundation start? It started in October 2004. 16 and a half years ago. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. What prompted or what really pushed you, the uh, people behind this foundation, to really start it? What, why is there really a need to do it? Like I said, you know, uh, it, is usual, it usually affects women. And uh, whether they are mothers or aunts or lolas, they are the pillars of the home and they are the ones that nurture and raise and guide our children the hope of our future the hope of the philippines okay can you tell us about the composition of kadugan foundation sino sino ang mga tao nga ara sa likod sining foundation okay uh, the foundation is composed of physicians actually mostly surgeons because it was the surgeons who first recognized the problem, especially among the poor, that we don't have money to spend for their treatments. Uh, after the surgery, you usually need several modalities which are expensive. So then um, I call it a providential uh, arrangement of circumstances because I really wanted, after I had the breast cancer and I went through my treatments, 
I wanted to help other women to get through it because it was when I found out how much my family and friends cared for me, but other women do not have that support, uh, support system. How can you share with us your experience with your own breast cancer? Uh, okay, my first uh, breast cancer was uh, on the right side in 1999. And um, at that time, uh, I was already here in the Philippines, and Dr. Patricia Tan was my surgeon. Uh, doctor, was my surgeon. Okay. And um, then I uh, had to go through chemotherapy, and uh, I, it happened again 16 years later. So I had another cancer growth on the uh, the left side in two, I'm sorry, in 2015. And I had to go through chemotherapy again. Okay, so para malabot abla ang mga masa, doktora, kahit usually, I know ang Kadugan, Bacolod Kadugan Foundation for Breast Care really is for in, indigent patients. Okay, sa mga hindi magsarang. Basically, yes. Okay. Basically, yes, but our breast cancer support group because we're the only breast cancer support group that is really active right now. Uh, we accept anybody. Doc, a lot of women <clears throat> have uh, observed uh, or have felt that they have a mass, say, sa ng mga breast. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, yun pa anila ka because of fear or because of the lack of know-how, na okay lang na siya, nang di ka dapat magkahadlok. If sa aton mga televiewers may ara sa ila nga may natu may namutikan nga may nagtubo sa ila sining breast ano ang imo mahambal sa ila dok okay. we have to seek help as soon as possible uh, do not let it go uh, of course not all breast masses are cancer in fact when i was younger i had what we call a fibrocystic disease of the breast sakit juta especially around my menstrual period but it was not cancer. But still, it can happen in the young, at any age. And the earlier we get to you, the earlier we seek treatment, the better your chances are of getting over this. Okay. I know a lot of people, the indigent patients especially, Nang nagakwan sila sa mga herbal treatment. What can you say about that? Well, seeing what I have seen, you know, in these years of experience with uh, women having breast cancer, aside from myself, uh, it may make you feel good initially. And uh, taking it is not always bad, uh, it may help, but it will not help you with the problem. Most of the times, the survival rate is very poor. And I can tell you uh, about a very popular person. She is an environmentalist. You know her, Lailani? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, she opted to go this way. She's very intelligent. She's very kind. She has a heart yeah. for the poor. And I really admire and like her. But she uh, opted to go this way, and of course, she did not live long. Yes. She only lasted uh, two years. Yes. yes, and I also know of sisters uh, who had breast cancer. One is an opera singer, and her sister, the opera singer, decided to go the herbal way, and she did not survive long either. Maybe a two years, uh -huh. but her sister, who had chemotherapy, survived 12 years, but she did not die of breast cancer. Uh -huh. She died of, a heart, of heart failure. So, Doctora, sa, again, sa mga masa, no? kaya mo nang ginakalabanan, gina ginagpangayo isang bulig sa aton, ano ang ila i-prepare in case nga magpalapit sila sa aton kag mga yung bulig? Uh, kay, siyempre, kita man ang, ang kadugahan man ang gagasto. Yes. Pero, Daw kabalok ko, they have to prepare for like blood conjuring mastectomy. Anong mga galastuhon nila, doktora? So they can be ready. Well, 
uh, maybe we we'll talk about first who should they go to. Oh, okay. uh, first, of course, if they have their own physician, I would recommend that they go to their own physician. Okay. But some women do not have that uh, that luxury, and they do not know where to go. Oh. Actually, we do have an office at Norfi Negros Occidental Rehabilitation Foundation. Where is that? Uh, it is on Cottage Road. Uh, in front of SSS. Uh, in front of, uh, near SSS, SSS and yeah. LTO, in yeah. between. Yeah. And um, I, it's usually manned by uh, the uh, survivors from the Kadukan support group, usually Sita Nonato, who is the president of the support group. Okay. And she's usually there on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, usually late morning to the afternoon. And we don't have a doctor there, but she will direct uh, the patient on what they need to do. Also, if we needed money and they really don't have it for some of the work up, we will provide it. Uh, the Kadugan Foundation uh, raises money and Token is our main <laughs> fundraiser. <laughs> Yeah. She is so kind-hearted. Thank you, yeah. Dr. And takes all that effort to help these women out. So, uh, we have discussed extensively so far, but before we end this interview, I want to get some opinion si Dr. about uh, uh, vaccination. Ang kadaman sa mga kababayin. Hala to, even ang halos lahat na hadlok magpa-vaccinate. Doc, what is your, your ano, ang take mo sa sine? Okay. Uh, looking at everything that is happening before us. Uh, it is a pandemic. Uh, it's hard to get away from it. Uh, some of them are asymptomatic, so we do not know if the person near you has COVID. Um, and it could have very bad uh, effects on us, even death. So I would recommend that to be vaccinated. And the first vaccine available is the best vaccine for you. And the uh, lie before we end, no, this is very, very important for us, for Bacolod Gadugan Foundation. Uh, in the midst of pandemic, you know that even before the pandemic, uh, we started to have, we planned to have our show to raise funds, okay? But uh, it, it, uh, it was not materialized because of the pandemic. So, friends, sa mga gapamatidra, mga may mga mga ayaw nga kurason, mga benefactors and friends, you can always donate to our cause. Diin sila makadudoktora kung gusto nila magbulig sa Kadugan Foundation kay this is for our uh, sick poor fellow men. Uh, to any of the officers, I am at uh, the Medical Arts Building and Doctora Torres also at the Medical Arts Building. Dr. Hector Gares and Dr. Pabalinas are at the Advent, Bacolod Adventist Medical and Center. And through Token, of and course. And you can also give it to me. Rest assured, your money will go to Bacolod Kadugan and Foundation. And I'm sure if you gave it to Lailani, it will also come <laughs> yeah. to me. <laughs> yes, doctor. Well, thank you so much. Your message to our televiewers, doc. Yes, doc. Okay. What is your message? What is your today? final message? Our motto is uh, no woman should die of breast cancer. Grabe no, parang hindi posible. But if you seek help early, as early as possible, all of you who have felt breast masses, basi pwede. I guess that's, I want to encourage the women to, to be able to get their treatment and not to fear what they have to go through. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarosa. Thank you so Thank much. You. And I'm sure a lot of women are inspired by your message and by your sharing today. Uh, sa nambala ni Doctor, uh, once may man nakita ka mo, kang may nabatsyagan ka mo, hindi magkadlok, magdangup ka agad sa inusin nga Doctor and you will be helped. Magabalik kami pagkatapos sa inyong panon to. Good day everyone, Kadugan Foundation, to all the benefactors of Kadugan Foundation, ako gidang pagsalamat ko sa inyo nga nagayo ako sa akong breast cancer, kagin sa batogin ang pagpabulong ko sa chemotherapy. God bless us and more power. Thank you, Kadugan Foundation.
maayong ugto sa tanan. Ako nagapasalamat sa Diyos sa iya nga ginhatag nga duga nga kinabuhi sa akon pagkatapos ako na diagnose na may cancer. Subong man nagapasalamat ako nga gindala niya ako sa grupo sa Kandugan Foundation kung sa diin diri ako nagakuha sa akon kusog kag amuman ini ang nagasakdag sa akon bulong sa kada bulan. Kabay unta nga ang mga tao nga nagasuporta sa Kandugan Foundation matagaan man sa kusog ug maayong lawas para sila magapadayon sa pagsuporta sa siling nga programa ang Kandugan Foundation. Madamo gid nga salamat. Ako si Anita Apuhin ng 6 years cancer survivor at nagpasalamat din ko sa Kadughan Foundation na ginagulidan ko nila sa akon na bulong maintenance halin sa pagsugod ko hasta kasubong na uh, 6 years na at madamo din nga salamat kabay pa nga damo kamo mga bulidan o nage, nagapasalamat ako sa ginoo sa paghikot niya sa sining mga tao para matukod ang Kadugan Foundation kay Kadamog at kay Kadako sa nabulig sa Kadugan Foundation sa amon ng mga breast cancer patients kag survivor gani madamog na salamat sa Kadugan Foundation sa padayon ng pagsuporta kag pagpalangga sa amon isa ka persona ang nag-inspire ko sa akin, especially this time of the pandemic. Naghatag siya sa akon sa taga-kaigo nga kusog para tubangon ang ato sa itag sa ka mga uh, hugot sa mga buhay. And she is your friend and she is also my good friend. Tula sa liwan, ang isa ka cancer survivor. Mag-upod sa ato, mag-share sa ato sa niya sa niya journey. Ano mo yan? Si Inday Gigi Campos nga palangga ginamo. Join us sa Yasini Inspiring Story. On the raw potential my mind and body is capable of and on every ounce of willpower I can muster to make my journey in life worthwhile. Sometimes we have to take little risks with our time and energy. For in life, 
If we don't risk anything, we risk everything. Of course, we cannot do it all, nor can we have it all. Sometimes we have to say no to good things to be able to say yes to the more important things. It has been a year since I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I have been through much, physically and emotionally. I am not yet at the finish line. But Philippians chapter 4 says, I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, with plenty or with little. For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When we are dealt with a bad card in life, what is important is how we play the hand we are dealt with. Trials are a part of life, but handled the right way, they can become our biggest blessings in disguise. During my journey with cancer this past year, art became my healer, forging a direct connection between my mind and my body. Through the physical pains and discomfort my body was experiencing, my mind kept telling me that I could get through the depression, the anxiety, and even cancer by doing something creative that could benefit others. Through the NVC, I volunteered to paint watercolor thank you cards for all the frontliners who were sacrificing and risking their own lives to save others during the height of the pandemic. The cards were inserted in the donated PPEs given to the frontliners of the province. Being locked down at home proved to be a blessing. It gave me time to take care of my body by swimming every day and taking in the sun. I was constantly surrounded by family. It gave me time to reflect on the many blessings that I received. Through God's grace, I learned to appreciate what I used to take for granted. In my quiet moments, I discovered the magic of what life is all about. I rekindled relationships and learned to value and connect with every person that walked into my life. I discovered a special love for God's creation, the beautiful blue skies, the brilliant sunsets, and all the different birds and and flowers in the garden. I saw beauty in every leaf, every flower, every bird and insect. It was like God gave me new eyes. In my pain, God gave me the desire and the passion to pick up my brushes and paint once again to work with my hands and discover new crafts, and to put into words all the wonder and discovery I was experiencing. We are all artists, painting our lives upon the canvas of reality. We mix the colors our own way and apply emotions liberally from our different experiences. We should never be afraid to let our brush strokes show a glimpse of what is in our souls. In finding our purpose, all it takes is one small step. True purpose has no time limit, and true passion has no deadline. The next smallest step can lead us on a meaningful path. In the end, purpose is the reason why we journey, and passion is the fire that lights our way. Without passion, it is impossible to progress in life. The heart of human excellence begins to beat when we discover a pursuit, big or small, that absorbs us, frees us, challenges us, and gives us a sense of meaning. Ironic as it may sound, Cancer gave meaning to my life. 
It gave me the heart of a fighter, a thriver, and a survivor. Rodriguez shares how she was able to survive and cope with the pandemic being a very active entrepreneur and civic leader. Tita Glaw tells us how she was able to change for the better because of this pandemic. How I survived the pandemic. Okay, I shall gather my thoughts and I will present four points. First is social media. Because of social media, since I haven't seen the, chil the children, they live in Manila for more than a year. This is the longest that I haven't seen them. At least, Bulong uh, sa I get to see them on FaceTime. Not enough because I really miss the hugging part. And of course, because of the internet, I am able to watch. I don't know, I, can't, I have stopped counting how many Netflix prime video and cinema free movies I've seen. In fact, when people ask me, have you seen this? Uh, I will have to look because I don't remember titles anymore. You can watch the movie twice and you still enjoy it. Before the pandemic, the Rodriguez had their own food business, providing snacks to their clients in their different activities. I used to do a little cooking uh, for snacks for the recollections in the school but because it stopped then I had no more venue for our little cooking and thank God for Mitzi she put up the Bacolod Quarantine Eats and we realized oh we can't we were good enough to sell our viands but it's really helping us and our staff and I are really excited even if we don't make as much but at least when the food is finished I, we get so excited Tita Glo also became a plantita herself, with friends starting to give her plants as gifts and tokens. I've become a little plantita, like everybody else. Erureco Garden is really small, but thank, thank you to your mom, Lan. Uh, she gave me a plant for my birthday, and then I said, and then somebody else in our CWL gave me another plant, and I said, hmm. How oh, nice pala, let's start na lang, I have all the time. And now, my husband is complaining that our little garden in Eroreco looks like a forest, but nice. I'm really enjoying seeing the plants and I even talk to them. <laughs> Despite the crisis, the Catholic Women's League of Pueblo Rosario unit continued with their outreach activities observing necessary health protocols. Another thing that has kept me going is that we have our little community here and following social distancing and protocol, we think up of little ways to be able to share because we're surrounded by like seven puroks around the village. And so we have been able to have a system and we try to do our own little thing, our own little thing to share. Like uh, the saying, no one is too poor to give and too rich to receive. And the most important above all is her connection and relationship with God. The most important is a prayer life. Somehow, because we have all the time, now we start always with morning prayer, then there's mid-morning prayer, and then there's mass at noontime, mid-afternoon prayer, rosary, and then night prayer. You know, my friends and I sometimes joke about it, that, oh, uh, wow, grabe, prayer. Daw mga madre nakita, basi maglapaw nakita, madagdag, basaka, daso madagdag, but really, I think without prayer life, I don't think we will, we would be surviving this pandemic. Most important of all, the serenity prayer has kept us going 
Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Okay, I have to warn myself because my children always uh, say, Mom, you're becoming preachy, so no more. That's a very, very important in prayer life. And also, uh, trying to forget oneself and think more of the least, the least of our brethren. It's so easy to say we survived the pandemic because, you know, what is it not to go out? I mean, you, we, because we're so used to just going out and planning our things. It's okay. Just remember that there are people who are in a worse situation than you and you have to do your part. People from different walks of life have different coping activities to deal with the pandemic. A group of motorcycle riders and enthusiasts go on a long ride during their day off to breathe, relax, and commune with nature. The mere sight of mountains, rivers, and nature gave them a temporary respite from the stresses and demands of work, especially this time of crisis. This weekly journey re-energized and few of them to get back the needed vigor for another week of service and work. Are you trapped in seeking validation of your success from others? Kamal Bapla answers this question in her newly launched book entitled Meeting Yourself, The Journey of Self-Discovery of Living Your Absolute Best Life. H-O-P-E, hope, which tells us, hold on, problem ends. Hold on, positive expectations is most important for us to learn. Kamal launched her book recently with friends and family at formal rites at Nature's Village Resort. God is holding your hand, holding your hand, and He is asking you, you can do it, I'm with you. Do you believe you can do it now? Sometimes we expect too much from others to validate our importance. Kamal emphasized loving oneself and that it's you who choose to find your peace especially these trying times commitment you must ready to invest your time you must make your dream your priority you must ready to put your action because this universe operates on cause and effect to get any effect there must be a cause you must ready to put your efforts, 
you must ready to invest your money to learn the things to do the things which you must do to get what you want Hi everybody! So in today's episode, we have one of our classic favorites, comfort food, and all around everyday cravings. Can you guess what? Burger. So in today's episode, I'll show you three styles of burgers. What is the main ingredient to a good burger? Beef. So this is an all beef burger. No pork, no chicken, no extenders, all natural. So what I have here is a 70-30 proportion of 70 ground meat and 30 uh, beef belly. So round steak and beef belly. 70-30 is for me, in my opinion, the best proportion for my style of burger. What we're going to do is we're going to cook it right now. We're going to salt, we're going to season our burger patties. So a little bit of salt, pepper, just enough. So now we're going to mix it, but don't mix it too hard. Some people, when they mix, they mix it too rough. Another reason why they do that is because their burgers won't stick. Now the form of your patty or the size of the patty will depend on your buns. So depending on the size of this burger bun, that's when we size our patty. Now if you don't have a ring mold, you can always do it by hand or by feel. It's up to you. So we're gonna form our burger patty. I like a nice thick burger because we have a nice bread. So it can be an inch thick, it can be an inch and a half thick. It's up to you. Okay, now you press down a little bit on your mold. Remove the mold. Ta-da! Burger patty. Okay? Now I'm gonna do three more. Add two more. What we're going to make is a Russian dressing. Now the basic Russian dressing is ketchup, mayonnaise, Onion, pickled relish, you can put garlic, depends, but for me, not so much. And Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take some ketchup. So depends on you, but me, my proportions are four tablespoons of ketchup to about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Pickled relish. A little bit of onion. And two dashes of Worcestershire sauce. One, two. Okay? And now we mix. Add a little bit more salt. and some black pepper. And there you have it. This is our Russian dressing. So, we have the burger patty, we have the burger buns, we have the sauce. Now, what are the other things we want to put in our burger? We only have three ingredients actually to add to the burger, which is Red ripe tomatoes, onion, white onion, 
red or white, depends on you, and lettuce. So these are the classic three components that we always put with our burger. Plain classic burger. Now, aside from our plain classic burger, we're also going to make a nice cheese burger. Alright, so just took out our burgers from the chiller and now we're letting them come up to room temperature. Now what we're going to do is, uh, we prepared almost all the ingredients already for our burgers. But we're going to show the process one at a time. Alright, so we're going to bring our Teflon pan to about medium-high heat. Okay? And then, we're going to add a little bit, just a little bit of oil in the middle. And don't forget that our burgers are already well seasoned. Now, how do we prevent the burger from shrinking? Now, remember, uh, the usual burger is, it looks this big, but at the end when it cooks, it becomes half the size. Now, the reason why is number one, the beef. And there's another reason, but there's a technique how we can actually prevent that, which is we will take our thumb and press in the middle and leave like a dimple. Now, the reason why Actually, scientifically, I'm not so sure, but it basically doesn't, it prevents it from shrinking, okay? So we take our burger. And now we see it on medium high heat. Now we're going to check, this is only about one minute in, right? Okay? We're going to check. Alright, now there's a crust, and we keep the burger. Now we let this cook on this side. Now what you can do is you bring down the heat a little bit. Now we let this cook on this side. Now for me, after about two to three minutes, for me this is done. I like it medium rare. Right? Now. So this is our normal, bur normal burger. Second, we're going to make now our cheeseburger, but with a different technique. Now, I feel that this is ready to flip. So what I'm going to do is reduce the heat. And then flip the burger. And at this moment, I put my cheese. So as you lower your heat, now the bottom part won't be as brown because we're going to take a cover and cover this so that the steam coming from the burger will slowly melt the cheese. Okay? So this will this will melt in about give it one to two minutes. Right? Low heat. But now, we can remove the burger. Okay. Side. Now, in this uh, in this frying pan, we have a lot of 
oil or juices from the pig. Now, there are two ways we're going to toast our buns. I like the texture when it comes to the bread that you get soft, top, but crispy in the middle. Now, how do you get that? We're going to toast the inside of the burger buns. So, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to toast one burger bun in the same frying pan where we cook all our burgers. Don't remove any of the oil. Well, if you have a lot of oil, you remove some, but don't remove all of it. Now we're gonna slowly toast this so you get a nice crispy brown inside. So see, very quick, it starts to become almost golden brown. Perfect, there we go. Golden brown. So this is the top, and this is the bottom. So see, these are nicely toasted. Another hack or another cheat is we take some mayonnaise. Now remember, mayonnaise is also partly fat. So you take some mayonnaise and then you spread it in the inside of the bread and we toast it. You'll see the difference later. Okay. And low heat. that we toast our bread. All right, so now we have all the components ready for our burger. Now all we have to do now is put them all together. So we're gonna start with our classic burger. So you take our toasted buns. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sauce only on the bread. So it depends on you if you want to make it very sloppy, okay? Burger, some of our Russian dressing, our burger patty, plain burger patty, okay. some onions, thinly sliced onions, tomato, lettuce. Again, Depends on you how you want it to be. You can use any type of lettuce, but I like uh, this iceberg lettuce. It comes in a ball. There's more crunch to this. Take some of this. And another slather of the Russian dressing on top. And you put it on top and you press just a little bit. Okay, so our first classic burger done. We'll do style two, which is cheeseburger. And it's even more simple than this burger because we already made our burger with cheese. All you again take is your toasted buns, your Russian dressing. Again, both sides. Take your cheeseburger. No lettuce, no tomato, no onion. Just classic cheeseburger. A bit. Put this on a plate. This will be for me later. I'm not gonna share. And again, potato chips. So this is my version of the classic cheeseburger with potato chips. Now we're going to add a little bit of flair, a little bit of style. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a classic plain burger, but we're going to smoke it. So it's a smoky classic burger. Now in the smoke box, we have a tray and some wood chips. Basically what we use is recycled chopsticks. We're going to assemble our burger. Still the same way that we're going to assemble our burger. Classic Russian dressing. Uh, 
our burger patty. Again. That. Then we're going to put this in our smoke. So inside the smoke box, what we're going to do is we're going to create smoke using the wood chips. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn the wood chips. And you see the smoke coming out. The smoky flavor will really impart. Cover. And you'll see smoke coming out of the edges. That means there's no more fire. It's all smoke. Now, with this process, all the smoke will impart in the burger, and that's where you get your smoky classic burger. Give it about one minute to 30 seconds, depending on how strong the smoke is. You can do this several times if you want it even more flavorful, but for me, I do this once or twice. Alright, so after 30 seconds, we're going to check if there's still some smoke. Ready? Wow, okay. Now careful, might be hot. Remove your burger. You smell the burger. Very smoky, almost like you barbecued the whole burger. Take again, classic chips. And there you have it. Classic smoky burger with homemade potato chips. Enjoy. So there you have it guys. Three styles of burgers you can do at home. And you can follow as a base recipe. You can create your own recipe depending on how you want or depending on your preference. You will always be able to make amazing food with simple ingredients at home. Enjoy! sang pandemya kadaman sa aton nagapamin sir kung diin kita pwede makapaliwaliwa makarelax ano ang makapahagan-hagan sang aton nga anxiety or kulba ta sa sinigid atubang tanga mga challenges kag crisis uh, going south may isa ka area dira nga amon gusto nga ga-introduce sa inyo nga isa ka sanctuary mahimo nyo kagtuan makarelax ka mo kag makapaliwaliwa we have invited the owner of Annabelle's Garden. Nga amon na siyang amon, iga feature subong. Kag siya ang mag tour us around this very beautiful place. Joining us is Miss Annabelle Moser, owner sa Annabelle's Garden. Good day, madam. Good day to all the televiewers of PLS in Negros, in the College City. And uh, I am inviting you today to, to view the new venture that I'm going to present. To Good everybody. day, Miga. Yes. Good day to everybody. And so happy to be with you again. There's no dull moment with you. <laughs> <laughs> no? But sa halin sa music, yes. halin sa pagpatahom. Sa tanan na bagay. Halin sa pagpatahom sa mga palibot natin. Oh, oh. So, Miss Annabelle, tell us about this new venture of yours, Annabelle's Garden. Uh, Annabelle's Garden inspired me when I got that uh, beautiful garden in Himamaylan across the beautiful uh, city hall of Himamayland City. <clears throat> 15 years ago or 10 years ago, I remember it was offered to me by the family of the Chu family. And then uh, it wasn't realized not until three years ago that they uh, again, you know, um, presented for, to me to buy the area which is beautiful with the fish pond and all these beautiful trees around. Uh, environment and all and we are lucky because it's beside our our business which is the Moser Environment Corporation which is just next door yeah so now I have the garden and I'm developing it to be a beautiful place to stop by going south going to where you're going and we have the bistro the bar and the bistro and you can drink your coffee there and now I'm developing a new venture of putting a swimming pool wow. for everybody to, to drop by. 
So you must be a very uh, nature lover, Miss Annabelle. Yes, because we are <laughs> environmentalists and Mother Nature is our love. Okay. okay. So na ginapanan ako na people from Sipalay, na gusto naman nagpaubos-ubos diri, people somewhere in Bago, Bacolod, na gusto naman lain naman makita, especially sa negan ng time of pandemic, pandemic. kita na nagpangita sa magkapaliwa-liwa kita. Uh -huh. Nga, uh, Miss Annabelle, na dapat nila bisitahan ang uh, Annabelle's Garden. Kay na inspire man ko kay ni along the road and the city of Viva Mayan has a beautiful city hall kag na nami al man ko bala nga ang tao nga dera ka pangita some place where to stay for a night a bed and breakfast and i have the pool i i have the view of the fish pond and now i have, i want to make a nice uh, you know boat there for rowing and we have now put more water to raise the the pan yeah. and I have developed a new way uh, a cottage in the middle it is finished now oh, yeah. for you to go down and have fish okay fish uh, oh, wow. na na. so oh, <laughs> you know when I when I have to focus something I have to do it yes. right kagidi sila magtalang ha amiga kay aside from she's the owner of uh, Paradiso yes owner sa Annabelle's garden Ako talaga ka damo sa ginapanigayahan niya. Iya pagit ang Bell's pension diri sa Lacson Street. So, it you know we're into hospitality business in America. So it it ah, yeah. it made me feel it. good it to ah. also develop here in yes. Ecros when yeah. I already consider myself as the nature native na nagpauli na yeah. diri. So I went to I have to go there but we have a lot of resources yes. to All right. to give back. Mm -hmm. To where I came from. I can understand. Yeah, we've been there sa Annabelle's Garden. No? Tapan ka, ang nami kay Planudo, malapad. Katahong gin. Katapos sa mga kahoy. Mm. Uh, nakita ko itong pond ng area, Miss Annabelle. Ano ang imo pagid nga further expansion plans para dira ang area? Ina na nga area, kung di ginbuta ka ako na to sa stair to go back there. You know, I already uh, ordered um, in a boat bala made of fiberglass. fiberglass. Okay. So, wow. so you can roll wow. and you know to make that's not something yeah. different. Yes. So going south. What amenities do you offer there? As of now we have the the breakfast, lunch and dinner since dinner is only up to eight. Ang pandemic, you know, we have the mm. curfew, mm. so it's maybe temporary. Before we have music every Wednesday and Saturday, but now temporarily we stopped it because we cannot do more hours to yeah. to expand to extend. And for out of town uh, people who would like to uh, have a place to stay, you also uh -oh. offer. The uh -oh. same. offer. Yeah. So they can drop by. Yeah. Stay there. Ang, ang room may TV man, hot and cold, yeah. <laughs> aircon. Yes. It's the same with Paradiso. I offer good, uh, you know, yeah. amenities for them to enjoy home away from home. So, mapadugan kapag it cottages? I hope so, yeah. That's uh, another thing when resources come. <laughs> so, masiling ka, dako ang pasalamatan no, sa mga pumuluyo, especially ang Dabo, government, ka, uh, with the uh, contributions sa, yes, so much. sa mga nagkalain-lain na mga infrastructure na gintukod yeah. sa atong silingang probinsya. So, would you like to invite everyone? Yeah. Annabelle? You know, when you pass by uh, in Hima Mailan, you can drop by at Annabelle's Burn Bistro Garden there and across this beautiful city hall of Hima Mailan. And we have also the Monster Environment Corporation, which we have a wood coming from the forest. Fifth district, we have the Acacia Mangyo, which we can always, we also sell that. In fact, we already delivered to Japan before wood chips that they make into paper. And now we are still thinking, they are still contacting us to get more wood because in the Philippines, wood now is very scarce. and. Philippines is have more resources of, of producing more and export more food, wood. What, what can you tell us about the food? Acacia mango has, has been inspired to us because it's a fast growing tree. Three years to five years you can cut it and uh, it, it grows more faster mm -hmm. and you can make um, furniture, you know, everything that out of it is hardwood. 
It's another species. It's not the acacia which we have the local, but it's a different species that is a fast-growing tree that we uh, have in the mountain which we grow more. So the one that you're doing there uh, beside Annabelle's garden, you're exporting that one? Yeah. Three years or four years ago, we exported already two con container of uh, ships to Japan. They bought uh, for wood chips for paper. Okay. And we also sell to local uh, sugar centers to okay. for wood okay. and for you know for their you know katong fuel. Oh. Well. Okay. That's so, where we we are. Uh, but to the pandemic, uh, next stop ane na or. Uh, little by little lang, hindi na too much. Full blast. Yeah, and it's full blast. Uh -oh. Hey, you know, economy is really, uh -oh. we have to really be prudent. In, Ako naman yun sa panganig ko sa ano, no? Amiga, Anabel, no? Knowing your good heart, let us support people who are like Miss Anabel. Ang mga, ang mga iya, ang mga negosyo, ang mga tahong, with love, pag it in eh. Kaya at the same time, ang iya ni nga mga, ang money yan eh, ginashare niya sa mga needy. Sa umun yung mga tao, nga palangga ko gin. <laughs> Kay Tuto, ang gidya. Mag-support ka mo sa iya, kabalo mo ka mo kung di nga kanto, gina-share na sa mga less fortunate brothers and sisters of ours. Yes, I know, because talking. I yeah. mean, you know, I know, I know her. <laughs> and the friends, his, her friends are my friends to mga sisters. Yes. <laughs> na ginabuligan, na ginabuligan ko man. Huh? That's why I it's know nice that. that we have in common, something in common. Yeah. That's why I love and you very much. And in the media, <laughs> sila, <laughs> lay -lay. Sila yes, na. Dugay so we really yes. have something in common. That's why we have to support them too. Yeah. But the good, <laughs> good heart and good deeds, I'm supporting you. them. Thank ah, you vice so versa, much, Gidya. Miss Annabelle, and ako sa ludugid ko sa inyo sa mga, ako mga, man. mga ginapagsudlan mo, ng mga initiatives. Nga hindi namang nagabulig uh, oh. sa inyo being a own nga business, but it so snowballs to all. Yeah. And, and to your late husband, yes. I salute him. Yes. Yeah. He's now in heaven, I'm sure. Him. It took an American to develop the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah no. This is the new dead before. Yeah. It was the new dead, nothing in it. Yes. And now it's full of trees. Yes. And oh. we have the carbon and all these things that protect Negros not to have floods. Yes. Remember, mm. we don't have floods here. Yes, yes. Somewhere in the south. Yes. Because of the trees. Yes. yes. Grabe, That's no? it. Ang legacy ni Mr. Moser, yeah, oh. will go on and on till, you know, the end of time. Pwede na labay mo da, makita mo lang ang inigid sublan in isang sanamba niya sa Amerikano nga nahulog ang iya sini nga tagipusoon sa isa ka kapinay nga wala isa na ginulsol. Wala labot na guwapa, buot, mabinuligon, mapinalanggaon. And then it was uh, maybe my, uh, what you saw is, it's my mission. It was already been, you know, that, uh, one aton pala nga sila yung Destiny. Nila. Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Kaya mo na mission mo, ginatang ni Lord. Yeah, it's a mission. You know, everything we do in this world is a mission. Mm -hmm. Why we connect with each other, then the positive energy that Mother Nature, mm -hmm. which is the universal force, mm -hmm. yes. joined us together. <laughs> because we don't know before, we, we don't know each other, but mm -hmm. in by heart and in spirit, we do the same thing. Kag ang nagahigot git sa aton actually si God. Si God. Because we have God. We yes. have God and this is Kag ang imo mga negosyo i-bless pag ito iya, Miss Annabelle, kay kita sa langit ang ginahimo. You know what? Everything in this world is not an accident. It's been destined and it is not ours. We are only instrumental. Ah, yeah. That's why I love her <laughs> so much. Instrumental. <laughs> That's why everybody who has more blessings give blessings to everyone. Yes, that's Ay, true. That is your mantra in life that is so yeah, beautiful. Correct. Thank you so much, Miss Annabelle, for your time. Ako, I love you, my friend. Thank you so <laughs> Same much. Same here. Likewise. And I'm going to give you another inspiration to all of us. We'll be back when we finish this.
guides me through when all is gone. There is a hand that lights my way. The night has come. It is the hand that is worth my joy. It's Jesus' hand, my life, my own. His hands give glory. His hands give hope. His hands. matuwag git ni Stoken. No? Kita man lang ang makabuling sa atong tagsa ka kaugaling kaugaling mo. Oo. Kung paano. Kung kita man kasi ba? Yes. Kung kaisa ganit ko ako ka pa minsan. Hala, sige garden. Sige uh, simhot sa mga kabulakan. Just to temporarily alleviate whatever fears mm -hmm. or anxiety na ginabat siya ka. Because hindi ka itong manigar. All of us are affected. Tama na. Ako ya. Ako ako din ang gitara ko, tukar-tukar, kanta. Isa ng kantable yung hindi na normal na pang kanta. Ako ang parang ipagwa ko lang yung ako. Ano ang i-release ang mga stress sa life ta? Kapit pa ini nga pandemic nga halos na nang hindi lang kita gabatsyag lai sa atong problema nga ginaagyan. Kita gabatsyag man sa isig ka tao, tanga nakita, tanga nawadaan mga ubra. Yes. And I hope, partner, ang atong nga show Naka-entertain man, ka nakahatag sa butay nga alibyo sa ato nga mga televiewers. Tama. Aside from nga uh, ma-inform ta sila, damo sila matunaan sa ato, parte sa pandemic, kahit hindi gina-interview ta yung mga tao nga kamano yes. sila, parte sila. Okay. At the same time, kahatag kita tuod sa ila entertainment, kabay pa, na malipay ka mo sa amon show, kaya mo gina ang number one goal man amon during Dani, this pandemic. Updan mo kami liwat, dali lamang sa inyo nga partner, Especially if you're listening to the pandemic, you're listening to TLS+.